Here's another example of looking at a graph, and it's definitely okay to try these on your own and see what you can get. If you got a couple of these, I'm happy. If you got none of them, that's totally fine. We've only done one graph so far. So let's just think about what we're asked to do. So if we have the limit as x approaches negative 3, that is going to be a one-sided limit or a two-sided limit. Well, the negative is in front of the 3. That just means as x approaches negative 3, and there's not a plus or minus after, so this is a two-sided limit. So just be careful. The negative 3, the negative out front still means negative 3, like it has your whole life. So let's approach from both sides then. So negative 3 is here in the x value. So I'm going to come in from the left and from the right of negative 3 and follow where the graph is. So the graph is right here on both sides, and my left-hand limit, if I follow towards negative 3 on the left side, is down at negative 2 and if I compare that to falling in from the right side so falling in at negative 2 towards negative 3 it's also going down to negative 2 my fingers meet and there is my answer is negative 2 so kind of what I cautioned you on the last example you don't want to start super far out so if I want to approach negative 3 I'm not going to start over at 7 because then I have so much graph to follow and I'm very confused so kind of just get near negative 3 on both sides follow them both towards negative 3 if your fingers meet that's your answer. If they don't, then your answer is D and E. So let's do it again. But this time we have negative 1, and it's from the negative side. So this is a one-sided limit, and since it's a negative side, that means the left-hand limit. So we want to approach negative 1 from the left side. So I'm going to get near negative 1, but on the left. So the graph is over here on the left. It is not over here on the left side. That's the right side of negative 1. So just be careful. Negative 2 is to the left, and this is where the graph is. So I'm going to follow it towards x is negative 1 and see what y value I get close to. As I get close to x is negative 1 on just the left side, I approach 2 in the y value. doesn't matter that it's a closed circle or an open circle. just matters the y value you get near. So we get towards 2 in the y value when we come in on the left side. Our next limit is approaching negative 1, but from the positive side, from the right-hand side. We're going to do a right-hand limit. So I'm going to go back up to my graph up here, and I'm going to go to the right of negative 1. So maybe starting at like 0, not super far out, but near negative 1, but on the right side. So there's no graph below at 0, so I'm going to hop up here, and as I get close to negative 1 on the right side, my y value is up at 3. So my right-hand limit is 3. So already you might be able to tell our next answer. The next answer says the limit as x approaches negative 1 from both sides. That would mean in order for this to exist, the left-hand limit would have to be the same as the right-hand limit. Otherwise, the limit does not exist. So do you kind of know what the answer is going to be? Does the left-hand limit equal the right-hand limit for this one? Well, the left-hand limit was 2, and the right-hand limit was 3. So the left-hand limit does not equal the right-hand limit. So this answer is going to be D and E. So that's looking at it using your work from before. The other way to look at it is to just look at the graph. Let's approach negative 1 from both sides and see if we agree with the answer we kind of got from our previous answers. So going back up, and we're going to approach negative 1 on both sides. So I'm going to go to the left of negative 1 and to the right of negative 1. So I'm hopping on to two kind of different pieces. So as I approach from the left, I get to 2. And as I approach from the right, I get to 3. My fingers do not meet. My answer is D and E. I can't say, well, I like the one that's colored in better, or I like the open circle better. We can't choose between 2 and 3. We just say does not exist. If your fingers do not meet, your limit does not exist. So if the left-hand limit does not equal the right-hand limit, it does not exist. So and graphically, again, your fingers don't meet. And that's how you know. Okay, going over to the other side. We're approaching 5 from the negative side. So this is a left-hand limit. A little bit hard to read on my screen, but look at your paper for that negative there. 5 from just the left side. So this is a positive 5, but just from the negative side. So here's 5. I'm just going to come in from the left. There's no graph down here. It's up here to hop on. There's only one place ever to hop on because these are all functions. So there's only one y value. So if I hop in from the left of 5, my y value is 1. It's not colored in, but again, I'm going to write it open circles. 
do not matter to a limit. It's just what y value are you near. Again, don't let it trick you if there's, it's called a hole in the graph, is that open circle, and they don't matter to the limit. Let's compare that to approaching positive five, but from the positive side, which means a right-hand limit. So I wanna get near five, but from the right side, so I can hop on at six, and I follow it in, and again, my y value is one. So what's gonna happen for the next one when it has the two-sided limit as x approaches five? Does our left-hand limit equal our right-hand limit? Because if it does, that's our answer. Our left-hand limit was 1, our right-hand limit was 1, so this two-sided limit should be 1. And we can double-check by looking at the graph, making sure our fingers do meet. If they don't, the limit is D and E. So from the left of 5 and the right of 5, I'm going to hop in on the graph. Left-hand limit is 1, right-hand limit is 1. Our two-sided limit, our fingers meet. Our answer is definitely 1. Okay. And our last one here, we have the limit as x approaches negative 2. And so this is going to be a two-sided limit. There's not a plus or minus after. We're approaching negative 2. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to come in from the left of negative 2 and from the right of negative 2. So from the left of negative 2, I get 0 in the y value. And from the right of negative 2, if I follow in, I also get 0. So coming in from the left and the right, our fingers meet. Our answer is zero. And I put this one here on purpose because sometimes when we meet at zero, students just don't want to believe it. But the answer can be positive, it can be negative, and it can be zero or D and E if your fingers don't meet. So it is possible to get an answer of zero. We follow in on both sides and they both go to zero. So just want to show you that could happen. Um, so you're prepared.